Hello, welcome to my class. In this video, we're going to talk about the molar gas volume. The molar gas volume is the volume occupied by one mole of any gas at a given temperature. In my previous video, we had talked in detail about this molar gas volume. And we said that at standard temperature and pressure, the one mole of any gas will occupy 22.4 decimeter cubed. And also we said at room temperature and pressure, one mole of any gas will occupy 24 decimeter cubed. Now remember, one decimeter cubed is equal to one liter and is also equal to a thousand centimeters cubed. Now with this knowledge, we're going to see how we're going to apply it in a few questions to find the solutions. So let's get right to the first example. All right, so the first question says, calculate the volume of hydrogen gas evolved when 10 grams of zinc metal reacts with excess hydrochloric acid. Now, whatever you've been given there in the bracket is the molar mass of zinc and the molar gas volume. So this question, first thing that you should do is to write the chemical equation. Now, the chemical equation between zinc and hydrogen and hydrochloric acid to give hydrogen is written as follows right there now if you don't know how to write chemical equations please check out my other videos that are written on writing and balancing chemical equations now the second thing is to look at the information you've been provided we have 10 grams of zinc so that means that we are able to know the mass of zinc right here is 10.0 grams so we are supposed to calculate the number of moles of zinc and then using the mole ratio from this equation we find the number of moles of hydrogen and then using the molar gas volume we are going to find the volume of oxy of hydrogen gas now this is going to be like this the first thing is to calculate the number of moles of zinc so that is going to be moles as you know this is my favorite part is equal to the mass divided by the relative atomic mass so the mass of zinc is already given right here 10 grams and the relative atomic mass is right here 65.4 so you just divide this So this is going to give us 0 0.1529. So now that you know the number of moles of zinc that are reacting, the next thing is to use the mole ratio. So the mole ratio between zinc and hydrogen as per the equation is 1 is to 1. You'll find that I got these numbers by checking the number before each of these elements. So zinc, the number before there is nothing, so it means there is 1. And there's between, before hydrogen, there is nothing, so it means that value is 1. So the mole ratio is 1 is to 1. So 1 mole of zinc would react with hydrochloric acid to give us 1 mole of hydrogen and of course 1 mole of zinc chloride. So now from this, the next thing is to say, what about if we had 0 0.1529 moles of zinc? So how many moles of hydrogen would that be? So here it is a simple case of cross multiplication. We'll take the 0 0.1529 multiply by one divide by one. So that is the same answer. So here we we'll say therefore, 0 0.1529 moles of hydrogen gas were evolved. Now that we have the number of moles of hydrogen gas that was evolved, the next thing is to calculate the volume of hydrogen gas. And that is where molar gas volume comes in. So the molar gas volume will come in right here. We have to be told that molar gas volume at RTP is 24 decimeter cubed. So we're going to do it like this. We say that one mole of any gas, now in this case, 
it is hydrogen gas occupies 24 decimeter cubed. Now the question will be, how much space or what volume would 0 0.1529 moles of hydrogen occupy? So I'll put it down here, 0 0.1529. So this again is a case of cross multiplication. We'll take the 0 0.1529 multiplied by 24 decimeter cubed, divide by one. So the moles will cross out and uh, the remaining values you're going to calculate and you get 3.67 decimeter cubed. So that will be your answer. Now we said that one decimeter cubed is equal to one liter. So we can also have this answer as 3.67 liters. So it's the same thing. Now, that was the first example. Pretty easy, right? Now, let's head to the next one. In this second example, we'll say that calculate the relative molecular mass of gas Q given that 0 0.3 grams of the gas occupies 210 cubic centimeters at STP. Now, it is important to note that you've been told that these volumes are measured at standard temperature and pressure. That is abbreviated as STP. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to remember that the molar gas volume at STP is 22.4 decimeter cubed. So it'll say one mole of gas Q will occupy, let me say, occupies. That is 22.4 decimeter cubed. So this is the information that we get from this STP. Now we know that one mole of gas Q, of course, has a mass of what is known as the molar mass. Now the molar mass is usually in grams like that. So the thing is, we need to calculate this molar mass, but we do not have any of the values right here directly. We've been given the mass and the volume. So since one mole is related to both the volume and the molar mass, we can say that uh, we have 0 0.3 grams of gas Q occupying 210 centimeters cubed. Now the question would be, how about the 22.4 decimeter cubed? But 22.4 decimeter cubed is not the same uh, unit as the centimeters cubed right here. So we have to change to make sure that they are in the same units. And that means you multiply the 22.4 times a thousand. That gives us 22,000 400 centimeters cubed. So the question is how many grams of gas cube would occupy that volume? Because that would mean we found the molar mass. You can see we've gone all the way this way from the, the molar gas volume to the one mole and then to the molar mass. So they're all related. So if you find this value right here, then we have found the molar mass and that means we have the relative molecular mass. So we cross multiply by multiplying 22,400 by 0 0.3 divide 210. So the centimeters cubed will cross out and you'll calculate this and you end up with 32 grams.
grams. Now that you have 32 grams as your molar mass, whenever you ask for relative molecular mass, remember it does not have any units. And therefore we'll have this value here right here, 32, but don't write any units after it. And that becomes your answer. So that is how we calculate the relative molecular mass using the molar gas volume. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if this is the first time in this channel, make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, cheers.